and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey everybody, it's Pudo back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to go over what you need to be doing in Madden 20 right now, or what you should be doing in Madden, because there's not a lot that you need to be doing. Stuff you should be doing. But... Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to go over what you need to be doing in Madden 20 right now. Now, guys, as you guys know, combat promo is still going pretty strong. We got two days in now. The second day wasn't much of a banger. Now, we kind of expected that. It's always like that. The last day, I'm expecting is Chris Johnson or something. So, just to be safe, guys, give you guys a little few tips for the last of the combat promo. Now, as far as the combat promo now, it's kind of weird so far. So, my take on this from what we've gotten is that they pretty much just dropped one part of the promo and just somehow try to turn it into two, but this is not part two. Now, we're going to get Amari Cooper on the last day. I mean, um, um, Alvin Kamara on the last day. But now, I'm hoping that that does come with either another master. Hopefully. And if not, I'm hoping for a limited time. 99 overall Chris Johnson or 98 overall Chris Johnson. They got to give us Chris Johnson, right? Like I said, every year we get Patrick Peterson, we get Vernon Davis, we get Chris Johnson. If we don't get one of those three, it's a botched combine promo. Simple as that. They also didn't really give us a free player. I don't care what anyone says, DK Metcalf's not a free player. If the player can't help most people, it's not a free player. You know what I'm saying? And it's also not free. But it is what it is, guys. Anyways, besides the point, before we get into this video, guys, make sure you're going to blow. Give the video a big thumbs up. Make sure to come join the family. Subscribe to the channel, boys. Come join the family. Try to grind out to at least like 22-ish K before Madden 21. It's kind of the goal at this point. Hopefully, you guys can come join and help that become a reality. But that's pretty much it for the intro, guys. Get into this video. So... What am I doing personally in Madden right now? So I've been selling some of my binder off. I do anticipate that the market will crash at some point because you have to remember, right? Things are pretty high right now. Things are pretty high in general on the market. Now, that's just because of there being nothing that like nothing extreme in content. Now, you guys didn't see my other video from earlier. I did go over all the upcoming promos. We have a few promos coming. So that should sort of kick down price to an extent. 98s are obviously going to be high now. Guys, if you have any of these cards, they will come down in value in the near future. Um, a Sears Redux card will kill Lamar Jackson's value at least. Patrick Mahomes will get killed as soon as we get more 99 overall cards, or at least another quarterback like Michael Vick. And Night Train Lane, same, same exact, same exact foul. So, coming down to 96, 97s. As you guys see, the market's still pretty decent. I mean, it's not great, it's not horrible, it's just like somewhere in between. Ultimate Legends are at a base price at this point. Now, could they come down more? They probably wouldn't have come down more as soon as things drop. So I'm letting you guys know that certain things are only being held up by supply and demand. Like there's not there's not a lot of them. They're the best card in the game right now for their position, and people need them because that's the best card. All competitive teams need the best card. So, for agency, which is one of the promos coming, should drop with decent amount of players. But more than that, more than that, more ultimate legends will what will be what brings them down. Ultimate legends obviously every Saturday, so you don't really got to be too scared about that. You know when that's coming. But in terms of what you should you be doing right now, if you had nothing else to do, first off, guys, coming over to the challenges. Make sure you have it. Well, first off, make sure you have your levels up done, guys. Please let me know you're level 90 already. If you're not level 90, make sure you get that done because we are getting pretty close. We're gonna start getting some great rewards for leveling up. Like our next level grind to level 100 should be a 98 overall power pass, which will guarantee you like a Night Train Lane, a Lamar Jackson, literally any top card in Madden 20. So make sure you're level 90 already so that when it comes out, you can get to level 100 pretty quickly. As well as make sure you're getting your gauntlets done and your journeys. Now, you guys don't remember gauntlets. If you do all the stars, you end up getting a gauntlet expert token. Now, I do believe that the next series update, series 6, should introduce the gauntlet masters and journey masters. Now, remember, the journey masters and gauntlet masters will be like 96, 97 overalls. And they're going to be free as long as you have the tokens. Now, the tokens do require every star, so make sure you're getting them done now. Worst thing that can happen is that it comes out and you have to go back and play all your gauntlets and all your journeys and everything. It's going to take you like a month. No joke for people who don't play uh, consistently every single day. I highly recommend you start getting that done now. You definitely don't want to wait on that front. Trust me, guys. The worst thing you can do is wait. And nothing's more annoying than seeing a free player that all your friends or whatever are getting and you are so far behind on. I recommend you get that done. And as well as make sure you're doing your combine solos because the NFL combine solos do guarantee you some decent rewards. Now, the free 89 to 93 is one of the bigger rewards. This can be used to make one of the top players a little bit cheaper, such as Amari Cooper, Denzel Ward, Alvin Kamara. Now, if you can get those cards cheaper, you can thus go ahead and get Dion cheaper, which means you can probably make a bigger profit on the three NAT cards. Just something to think about, right? Just something I'd recommend doing. Now, the bigger piece there is probably even DK Metcalf. Like I said, DK Metcalf, he's free, sort of. He's, he's not he's not free, but he's, he's very cheap. And I don't want him because he won't fit my team. But for a lot of teams, he can be useful. Now, for all you guys wondering, how do you get DK Metcalf? I know a lot of you guys have probably been asking this or probably been wondering this. It's very simple. You go over to the sets. You got an over, and you got to make him with tokens. 
how much do the tokens cost exactly? I have not exactly put a number on it because I've not really tried doing it. But Combine Conqueror tokens, it takes 285s. I mean, I have already, what, like how many of my binder? I could almost make DK Metcalf right here on camera at this point. So it probably shouldn't cost much. Probably cost you like no more than like 70K at max. I'm going to be super cheap. I recommend you get that done too if you're a budget team. Like that's a great budget player for you guys, especially if you're budget, if you're only like a 90 overall still. But like when you're like a 95 already, you really can't use him in my specific case. But for most people, there would be an, an actual use for him. Now, beyond that, if you guys already have your solos done and you already have your levels up done and you have most of that stuff done, next thing you want to be doing is just simply going to your binder and getting your coins up. Because as you guys know, more promos coming out, things are going to start coming down cheaper. Now, we're at a point, guys, where earlier in Madden, when things came out, you needed a lot of coins per thing. Things are pretty cheap. Like an Ultimate Legend 97 comes out, 300k, 250k. Things aren't, that, things aren't that expensive. You can just bring up your coin stack just a little bit. You can really enjoy. And as well as we're getting to a point where there's going to be a lot of things going cheaper. Now, free agency promo, would I recommend having a big coin stack for that? In my opinion, free agency promo comes down pretty much to what comes out. Like, it, 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 you, can't even, you can't even count on it because it depends on real life, like what happens in the NFL. Now, as far as the free agency promo, now what I am expecting is a Tom Brady master. Uh, maybe like a Byron Jones master. Maybe a Jadavion Clowney master. That's what I'm expecting. Now, Jadavion Clowney would be super cool. Last year, we got Earl Thomas and Le'Veon Bell. They were cool, but they weren't that great. Hopefully, this year, we have some better ones based on free agency. If we do, in that case, it'll be pretty fun if we can do so. And maybe they'll give us some guys like Des Bryant, who are still technically free agents. That could be super fun to have. But again, I don't think the coin stack got to be big for that one. I think Pats of the Draft is going to be the more fun one. That would introduce us some 99 overalls. As well as, remember, Pats of the Draft, if it does introduce 99 overalls, that will do one thing. For agency and path of the draft should bring down the overall or the prices of these 99s. Now, let's say they do a Tom Brady. Tom Brady's not going to be better than Mahomes because he's not mobile. But it could bring down Mahomes to like maybe 800k. If they do, um, if Lamar Jackson gets cheaper, Mahomes could come down in price. As well as if we get any cornerbacks like Byron Jones, some Nitro Link could come down a little bit. But path of the draft did release 99 overalls last year. Like Keyshawn Johnson, they had Tom Brady. They had a few guys there. Now, those guys were all 99, so if we get another path to the draft in the March, that's more 99s, which I don't think it will be. This year, Madden, we've been kind of like behind. I think it'll be more like 98s, maybe on 199 or so, but enough 98s could bring this down, because that's literally, Mahomes only has value. He's amazing, but he's the only guy there, and Night Train Lane will come down as time comes down, and as the market just keeps coming down on these guys, so all I'm saying is don't have your cards, don't be heavily invested in some of these higher cards right now, because these are absurd prices. No joke, at this point, guys, I have no problem with you holding on these. The Ultimate Legends won't get crazy cheap, like, they are what they are. Eventually, they'll be, like, in the 100k, 120k range, but for now, they're gonna stay pretty steady. The cards that I just wouldn't be holding on to will probably be the 98s and 99s. These are the only cards I'm not holding on to, and as you guys can see, I do have a home, but he's not auctionable, he's in that one. I wouldn't be holding on to them. These prices are absurd. 926k, he's more likely a 600, 700k quarterback at max. Nitro Land, and again, 700k at max, 800k, not even, 600k. And he will get a, they will get a power pass soon too. So remember that a power pass for Lamar and actually will bring his value down a lot too. Because a lot of people will be selling there. So the power pass him. And Lamar will get a series redux pretty soon. And I don't know if uh, Pat Mahomes will get a series redux or how it's going to work with him. Because technically he was an LTD, but then he wasn't. Like he sells like an LTD, but I don't know how they're going to end up doing that. But just letting you guys know about that. So remember to wrap it all up, guys. We have make sure you go from level 90. You got level 90. That's the first thing. You're going to get tons of packs, tons of coins power pass and a bunch of free stuff you want to get that done because the next one's going to be super fun make sure you're getting your gauntlet expert tokens and your journey expert tokens because last year we were able to pick any gauntlet master like maybe a letter for net 96 overall or um at oliver jr whoever else was there juju smith it could be super cool the journey master could be like a michael thomas 98 i don't know what they'll do for the journey master maybe a new player make sure you're getting your combine solos done and getting your dk metcalf for free even if you can't use it maybe just get him as a he's good for chems too as a backup for chems i already have a backup for chems so it doesn't really apply to me but for you guys could be super fun if you are able to get that done just my personal recommendation on that standpoint now beyond even that guys and then with the market you don't have to sell things right now i mean like i said the 98s are the ones that i don't really want to be holding on to right now i think those are going to come down pretty hard in the near future they are super elevated no cards no cards this entire year have been that price nothing so for them car those cards to be that expensive it says a lot about where the state of the market's at like how far ahead they are of everyone else but that pretty much wraps up the video guys i pretty much covers everything so those are the five things you want to be doing right now if you can get those all done You'll be looking good for the free agency promo and with your coins and kind of with where you are standing now for i know a lot of people don't even have those cards i mentioned but i'm saying if you do i wouldn't hold on to them for much longer they can't like a million coins to that train lane like a million coins take the milli use it for other things and just save your coins you can get it you can get it back with a power pass but the issue is if you wait and use it get a power pass from afterwards it's going to be detrimental because people are going to be doing the same thing he's going to come down in value if you guys are better for the video make sure down below hit that subscribe button turn that on your bub boys come join the family make sure you give this video a big thumbs up 
I appreciate it a lot. Comment down below if you guys have any questions or any other things to add to the list. Guys, that's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.